and to the Friday Night Quarantine Show. I'm John Luke Roberts, and I'm joined by my co-host this week, Joe C. Long. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's Johnny Donahoe. It's me. I'm 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 playing the role of the talented talented member of our family this week. <laughs> uh, normally, because uh, Josie's not brilliantly well, normally what happens is Josie is on screen, chat to Luke, <coughs> uh, sharing the chat, um, and I sit just to her right, and I interject annoyingly. Um, and this time she's going to do that. So we've just swapped roles. Hello. Yeah, just don't, don't, um, don't talk your mouth full. Every time I try and talk, I cough, and it's really painful, and my voice is a bit crap. But your voice isn't as bad as it is because you've got loads of cake in your mouth. Yes, I made a cupcake. Yeah. Luke, how are you? I'm fine. I will say Josie is, has got a real goblin vibe going on. This, yeah. This week. Yeah. That's, that's what attracted me to her. Oh. <laughs> it's her goblinness. Yeah. Her uh, goblin city. Please stand for her goblinness. <laughs> um, uh, but it's, her, it's Josie's birthday, isn't it? Josie mm. is 29 watts. 29 watts. <laughs> Not the brightest of bulbs. <laughs> it's really annoying. I've just realised what I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what should, should we? Well, we should bring on the house band, which you're half of. Yeah, well, that's going to be complicated, isn't it? Because I'm already here. Well, okay. Here. Well, okay. Well, you could pretend to leave. All right. Hang on. Put your cap off when you're the band and leave it on when you're the host. Uh, please, everybody, uh, put your hands together and welcome to the screen, Johnny and the Baptists. Hello. What an honour. Wow. Luke, it's lovely. I haven't seen you in ages. How are you? How well, are you? Oh hello! Oh, well, oh, 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 you're talking to me. Sorry, I, I, I thought you were talking to Luke. I'm getting oh, very I'm confused, confused already. Well. It's, it's just it always takes me by surprise, Johnny, when you do a joke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Luke, I, I love you very, very dearly, but I, you've been a, a little um, caustic this evening, and I, I'm not sure yes. I'm um, up to handle it. Right. Well, I'll try and soften it. Um, okay. I think I'm in a, uh, a what we call a bad mood. Oh uh -huh. no! Why are you in a bad mood? Oh, just you know, everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's generally, it's a, oh, it, we're oh. having an absolutely unproblematic great time every day, and I've never thrived more. <laughs> <laughs> Ribbon, if we're going to put it. In a <laughs> um, now, you, have you prepared for us a, um, a song, an intro song? Um, We've got a new theme tune. Yeah. I mean, and by new theme tune, I mean it's the same as last week, but Paddy's uh, put a new backing track on it. Say back. I built it from the ground. It was still lots of lots of work. <laughs> first, I ground that corn to make that flour. I made that flour. Into <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like gluten, you've still got to listen to it. I don't care if it causes you to go bad. It's a bang on impression of me. I've never heard someone do that. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Paddy, Paddy, you'll see there's just been out to get a pint of Guinness from yep. the pub. I have, to, I have to keep some semblance, semblance of normality, and so I just keep a pint of Guinness within reach at all times. <laughs> and I'd be very pleased if you had a pump. Oh, I'd love one of them. Mm. If we're still in quarantine for my birthday, which is in a solid nine months or so, would you send me one? <laughs> sure. I'll get, you a, I'll get you a Guinness pump. Luke, if we're still in quarantine for your birthday in June, what yeah. would you like? Yeah, what do you want? I would like a... Um, I'd, oh, oh, I'd like a... A, 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 a Beaver Town Gamma Ray pump. Okay. Oh. Right. I, I would like skydiving lessons. Oh, 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 guys, we've oh. been in quarantine so long, it's Christmas. Oh, hooray. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, actually, do you know what? These are the crackers from last Christmas that Josie and I have had in the kitchen for um, a while. And mm. actually, the joke is very prescient. Why did the germ... Why did the germ cross the microscope... And the answer is to get to the other slide. I thought germs were generally bacteria. I didn't think viruses counted as germs or... or... Right, great, great. Thanks. Well, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I'll tell you what. Well, 
That's I'll ruined it for everyone, hasn't it? Do, do you know what the um, the charade yeah. or charade Ooh. that it says here? Yeah, because you you get a charade to do as well. Is also very prescient. It's who wants to be a millionaire? Which I don't know about you, but wow. I've I've been watching um, television's wow. quiz. Wow, yeah. one qu- one quacker, one cracker has summed up this week's discourse. Yep. In uncroyable. Mm. God, we're all a bit weird this week, aren't we? <laughs> 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 That'll give us a semblance of a like format. Okay. okay. I hope that you, you hear in it that I, I may have thrown in some last minute vocals to make it even more relevant to a certain person's special day. <laughs> There she is. There she is. Um, uh, please, Mr. Trent, would you fire? Would you fire up the song and pick? Cut the diamond. Happy birthday. Dixie style to an ocean wave. First couple go left. Lucy's birthday. Jump in when you get a chance. Ping pong circulate. First go right. Lucy's birthday. Boys run right. Load the boat. Swing your partner. Josie Bow. Pass to the center and the turn. I do you want to go fast again? Friday night. Quarantine show. You watch it on your laptop or maybe your phone. We tell jokes and you laugh at home. Or maybe you don't, but we'll never know. There's Luke, who's grumpy and very moustachy. Josie, who's smiley and lots of laughy. Johnny and the Baptists are the best, we all agree. And two to three guests are very high quality. The best show on the internet, without a doubt. You might as well watch it, you can't go out. It's the Friday Night Quarantine Show. Sponsored by no one, so please send us cash. On the thing. Shred it to the sound of silence. There you go. Oh, lovely. Ah, there you go, guys. There you what go. Think, you? Mm. Um, I would like to put you on one thing. Yes. I noticed it last week and I forgot. But yep. you described me as the grumpy one. Yes. 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 Um, I, uh, I was unaware. Oh, it's uh, based on your behaviour. Yeah, the things you do and say. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Oh, cool. You're quite grumpy. And your reaction to it. Yeah, yeah, and your reaction yeah, yeah. to it is pretty grumpy. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Would you like us to change it? It just feels like a little bit of a... Um, well, I'm sort of trapped, aren't I? It's a bit of an infinite uh, regress because I can't complain about it because if I complain about it, then I'm just, like, saying it's true. Well, you could mm-hmm. praise it. Wow, it's brilliant how you mischaracterise me as grumpy. I love it. <laughs> Change it to snarky next week. <laughs> uh, right, we should mention that we're just about to bring on our brilliant first act. Uh, yes. Before we do that, uh, you can give us money if you like. There's a tip jar, cosmicshambles.com. Is that it? Uh, forward, sta- forward slash uh, Johnny Donahoe. Yep. I'm sure that's true. <laughs> and it will go to all the acts that all the acts that are on this week the uh, people who've lost work and venues and stuff the money goes to people so that's nice isn't it i i think if you are enjoying the show 40 50 000 pounds is plenty yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> you can only afford 10 and then maybe only watch half yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah be fair but to, to alternate like 30 seconds on 30 seconds off 30 seconds on 30 seconds yeah. Otherwise, you'll miss who's on last. Yeah. yeah. So do the gig like a 5-2 diet. Oh, that's a good idea. Nice. Paleo gig. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, John Luke Roberts, it is uh, a uh, pleasure to co-host with you. And I- I'm going to try and segue into some uh, sort of proper co-hosting. Wh- who's our first guest on tonight? Whoa! <laughs> our first guest, Johnny, is only a terrific comedian who often pretends to be somebody he's not. Gosh, how unusual. Wow. Wow. But tonight, he's not pretending to be somebody he's not. He's pretending to be his own self. And as we know, that's all any of us are ever really doing, isn't it? That's very hard. Mm. Um, and uh, how long have you known this uh, person or persons? Oh, for, oh, for, 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 uh, four months. <coughs> four months. Four months. Okay. Okay. No, I can't remember. A long time. 15 years. Time. I don't know. Gosh, we, uh, we go way back. Uh, any, any amusing anecdotes? Um, oh no, that because all of the 
the amusing anecdote is just, oh, I saw him do this funny routine once. That's not oh, going to... Well, you could just do his like. jokes. Yeah. All right. Well, le- le- uh, people who are listening, whoever you are, wherever you are, however you are, it is an honour. I to- just wanted an amusing anecdote. We'll oh, do it after. No. all right. Okay. Right. It, it, Alexis Dubas. Alexis Dubas. Hey. Hello. 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 Hey. Um, uh, I am... Sorry, yeah. sorry, Alex. I sorry, forgot darling. to go to Paddy and uh, and get Paddy to do his little musical sting. Yeah, right. what what do you want me to play for uh, him? Now, because Alexis often plays French uh, characters. Well, well, one French character, uh, a French character. Um, I was wondering if on your little musical machine you could play the French national anthem. Yeah. Okay. Um, in its entirety. In yeah. its entirety. Okay. Right. Um, uh, right. Uh, now you're going to have to remind me which one that is. Actually, I'm just going to take a stab at it. This is my automaton. Uh, which, uh, which France do you mean? Yeah. Which, which France? I need which. I need, the yeah. one just below. Just below. Was, oh, okay. The right, Republic so. of France. <laughs> 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 I'm, How good I'm is that? Honored and horrified in equal measure. That what is that? That's an automaton. It's my um. It's my particular brand of breakdown. Good God! Yeah, that is the sound of uh, the lockdown, isn't it? That's that, uh, uh, everyone's brains just scramble. Yeah, that's it right there. Wow. Oh, wow! Don't worry, it goes up an octave, and we might hear more from it later on. I'm sure we will in all of our minds. Well. <laughs> Um, hello. This is uh, this is lovely to see your faces. This is this is very nice indeed. Happy birthday, Josie, and uh, uh, I hope you're doing all right with the, the the parenting. It's fun, isn't it? We had the bittersweet moment today where um, uh, my little boy basically uh, discovered the word weekend. Uh, he started using the word weekend at a time when that has entirely dropped out of modern parlance. So it was kind of uh, lovely, but uh, uh, sorry. So I'm going to do a little thing, do my little piece. Uh, I uh, I think that really we're, we're sort of in early days yet. We know that now. And I think I think it's really going to hit us all hard, the lockdown, um, mentally, uh, emotionally, possibly physically, when it comes around to Eurovision night uh, on May the um, uh, something. And uh, I think it's a shame that none of the countries got to, to, to do their, their songs. And I think I just want to give you a rundown of what we would have heard uh, on that Eurovision night, and and the odds as well that were that, that were running against them. So uh, here we go. So um, I'll do this in no particular order, uh, except uh, alphabetical. So Albania, uh, Agnesha Prifti with "Give the World Some Lint," the hip hop electro uh, some hip hop electro opera from the Albanian Queen of Skiffle, thirty to one. Armenia, Howdy Daudi with "Waudi." Psychedelic power pop with a breakbeat edge, 46 to 1. Australia had uh, Dakin Nobson with Didgeridoo Wop, described as a knockabout tribute to the indigenous peoples of Australia, also described by various sources as extraordinarily misjudged on multiple levels, uh, 2 to 1. Austria, Marina Gluft with Hold Me All Through the Night and preferably until lunchtime the following day. Overly needy ballad, 4 to 1. Azerbaijan, movie stars with A-Z-E-R-B-A-I-J-A-N. Disco pop vibe there with an overlong chorus, 63 to 1. Belarus, Vavra Uvd with Let's Bake Some Love Bread. Awful, 20 to 1. Belgium, bio- biodegradable polymer Bertrand with Ça ne plein pas pour nous. Environmentalist band made up of offspring from the group Plastique Bertrand, rumoured to conclude with the band supergluing themselves to the judges. Six to one. Croatia, Tomislav, playing my guitar. High-pitched keyboard pop from the former grocer and midwife about the joys of playing the guitar. 43 to seven. Cyprus, Grigorios Psiskaristos, fuck Ryanair. Perhaps the most controversial entry this year, a heartfelt rock ballad about making love to a Ryanair plane. Three to one. Czech Republic, Mia Mila Chalupa with If I Could Hold You In My Hands. That's a tambourine-led tearjerker dedicated to a pet hedgehog. Five to two. Denmark, The Flasks with Dental Care, a combination of electro-proto-funk and public information. 17 to three. Estonia, Rasmus and Oscar, What If I Borrowed Your Parents? 
irreverent punk samba from the bad boys of Tallinn, 20 to 1. Finland, Anders Fitbit with Let's Go Ape Shit, a hectic little number said to contain the most words of any Eurovision song in the contest history, 112 to 1. France with Jean-Jacques Puissard and Non. Quite a negative entry from the French, selected by the general public to be the least likely to win, to spare them the cultural ignominy of having to host the contest themselves, two to one. Georgia, Octopus, with a secret chair, plodding prog rock number, which was originally two days long, 75 to two. Germany, Hermann Schist, with Zesty Trompet, a jaunty ditty from the German brass pioneer who claims to have never owned a shirt, four to one. Greece, Yanis Varoufakis with It's Monkey Time, conceptual pop with every word written by a different member of the public and voted on individually, then pieced together by a seven-year-old, three to two. Hungary, Hung Gary with Put It There, the country's most renowned porn star brings some sexy dick rock to the table, four to one. Iceland, Spinky with Fjörkpöndergabugudgiginerherftaker. An ethereal ballad roughly translating as drinking water from a glacier using a smashed out telescope, eight to one. Ireland, the pontiffs with sham rock, an ironic entry from the, anarch uh, from the uh, anarchic rockers who have all undergone plastic surgery to look like Ronan Keating, playing guitars made out of frozen Guinness, 25 to one. About halfway through now. Israel, Homeland, with La 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 La, a 16 piece boy band singing the chorus over and over as loudly as they can. Italy, Paolo Bonafini, il mio amore, il mio cuore spezzato, i miei pantaloni, le mie albicocci, il mio mutuo. My love, my heartbreak, my trousers, my apricots, my mortgage. A baffling ballad from the Berlusconi back balladeer, 9, uh, nine to 2. Latvia, Ilenka Nostokostakovich, Don't Play Games, angry flute rock number directed against children, 15 to 1. Lithuania, Darius Budris, If I Were to Run a Zoo, posturing a narco soul featuring 23 dancers dressed as chimps in bikinis, 6 to 1. Malta, Marcelino Mifsud, My Kind of Funky, Malta's biggest Instagram food blogger, accompanied by only a bass player explaining in great detail what his kind of funky is and isn't. 55 to 2. Moldova, Sasha Iribescu, Is This Love in My Knapsack? Tortured techno ballad performed blindfolded, 10 to 1. Montenegro, Loving You, brackets, is like going on holiday to Montenegro, close brackets. Blatantly tourism led gypsy ballad, 45 to 1. Netherlands, host country, Nice Face with Woo Woo Woo, brackets, Let's Go Swimming close brackets. Quirky brother and sister pop act who switched gender roles mid-song. Five to three. North Macedonia. Grilly, the evening we killed a swan. Ultra catchy synth pop. Three to two. Norway. Death Crab with Rinky Dinky, the most political number in the show, subtly berating neoliberalism via the medium of Baroque thrash. Six, six, six to one. Poland. Maria Przybyzewski. How long? Heartfelt yet relatable torch song about waiting for food at a busy cafeteria. Seven to two. Portugal, the fabuluses with Gay Wednesday. Surprising reggae number from the straight white quarter finalist of Portugal's Got Talent. Two to one. Romania, Conchisi, this is the end. The shortest song in Eurovision history, clocking in at just eight seconds and containing only four words. Eight to three. Russia, Igor Niestin, believe in your soul. Another world record with the lowest notes ever recorded for a Eurovision song, six to one. San Marino, Celebrazione, with Put Your Hands Out in Front of You. Gratingly positive workout trance with an achingly simplistic accompanying dance routine, 12 to three. <laughs> Serbia, Teodora Dordovic, and that's that. Wailing accordion-based ska number instructing listeners how to spell the word that, 33 to one. Slovenia. Zvezdana Zitnik, This Is The Time. Accompanied by six drummers and a foghorn, this semi-improvised grime number sees the multi-octave yellow-haired singer informing the audience of the time throughout the song's duration, 60 to 1. Spain, Paco Jamon, Fiesta, Siesta, Siesta, Fiesta. A frenetic number about partying, sleeping, sleeping again, and then partying, 
Seven to two. <laughs> Nearly there. Sweden. Jens Frisberg. Freeze your love in a bag. Terrifying stalker pop. Five to one. Switzerland. Buna Nodg with Untitled. Eurovision's first ever entry performed entirely in mime. 99 to one. And finally, of course, the United Kingdom. Ian Jenkinson with Sorry. A melodramatic <laughs> number with Jenkinson singing Sorry in every European language <laughs> and Australian. <laughs> 52 to 48. Um, <laughs> that what we will describe as a feat. Oh, an absolute feat. A, a feast of feet. A, it was a feast of feet. It was fantastic. I'd be how long I spent looking up whether they were genuine with genuine names from that country. <laughs> name and your name. I, uh, my favourite part of it uh, was Hungary. Ah, oh, sure. Uh, I just <laughs> take the base notes. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. What a joy. Oh, Alexis. Bony. Bony, that could have been a thing. <laughs> Alexis Dubas there. Uh, oh. As Josie wanders off. She's yeah. gone. No, I've just poured my drink away. She's just, she didn't like the tequila drink that she poured herself. Also, and, I'm not well um, enough and it's made me feel really dizzy and my chest hurts. So. Her chest hurts and she's feeling dizzy. I, I know you can hear her, I'm just repeating it. Um, Alexis, that was absolutely wonderful. What a, what a, uh, what a joy. Yeah, that was what brilliant. What an absolute joy. Luke, did you enjoy the his set? Apparently you've got an anecdote about Alexis Dubas. So. Uh, it, it was just... I realised, I, realize, I went to Alexis's party many years ago and yeah. I had a long row with a man about whether we met or not mm. and then realised um, that that man was in fact one of the judges on um, Britain's Next Top Model, which I'd ended up watching a lot of that year. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you hadn't... Uh, he was right. I had yeah. not touched him. And did he say, I'm, I'm, I'm on this TV show or something? He didn't know he was too... Um, too dignified to say that he just said i just don't think we have I but he must have known i realized on the way home the kind of esprit d'escalier moment would have been worse if you'd realized uh, in the middle of it what would, would you have kept going or would you have uh, would you sort of kept your position if you'd I'd halfway through trying to realize uh, i'd have feigned death i think if i in the middle of it i'd have been able to just like topple over and then get out of the conversation that way uh, oh death i thought you said death i thought you feigned death just suddenly sorry <laughs> It's uh, suddenly gone. Uh, <laughs> um, I haven't learned sign language yet. <laughs> this just happened. It's all been guesswork up to here, and uh, <laughs> I'm afraid I've entirely run out of... So, um, what else is on today's show? Well, um, we've got several more acts. I'm the next one. Oh, well, should I uh, introduce you? Yes, I think that's, that would work. Um, well, should we go to Paddy then for a for a musical introduction? Yeah, yes. Hey, hey, I'm back. Uh, do, do you need to get ready, Luke? Do you are you are you doing it as because sometimes you're a character comic, aren't you? Uh, um, yes, this week I'm not a character comic, but I will oh. listen to the screen. Okay, you leave, and uh, Paddy yeah. and I. So, um, Paddy, John, yes. Luke, Roberts. Yeah. Um, John, Luke. Yeah. Um, Roberts. So Roberts, that's his name. Yeah. Um, he's a very funny comedian, does a lot of stuff about his own father, which is um, very uncommon in comedy. And, I, I um, met him. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, how are you going to introduce him? You're going to do a little song? Well, I can do a little tune. Um, what do you suggest? What, what kind of, what, I mean, name a hit. I mean, well, I guess is, and it has guess, to be something I know. But I guess, it doesn't. Really. I guess the song that makes me think of John Luke Roberts uh, the, the most uh, is Gangnam Style. <laughs> Uh, um, oh. Are you able to recreate that sound? Uh, um, I, I think, think I can remember how it goes. All right, okay. it's okay. Okay. Um, um, uh, please, please welcome to the screen. Uh, here's some music. It's John Luke Roberts. I haven't listened to that song in years. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was great. John Luke Roberts, please welcome to the screen. John Luke Roberts. Thank you for the wonderful introduction and the wonderful song. Um, I've been clearing out my house a bit. I've been doing things around and looking at stuff, and I found some old uh, drawings. And then I thought, wait, I can these. I, I can. This is a. I can use this on the show. So I've um, got this first of all. That's um, it's probably reversed for you, um, but that's the word jazz. 
um, I can't I can't personally look at it without seeing a German man saying yes and then falling asleep. Um, good. That, 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 and then underneath that we have we have the banana, which is of course the jazz fruit um, because it's uh, it's syncopated. Uh, banana, banana, banana. That's the first picture. And um, then we got that. That's the symbol. Uh, musical notation wise for a rhino appears very briefly um, got that there uh, here's that's just a that's this is just some um, pretzels drawn from memory uh, and then we've got some just names of characters I'll just do a couple of characters we um, first of all we've got, uh, got sex judge what's the name of this character sex judge okay. he's a classic um, I normally have a pair of glasses but I I don't so I'll, I'll just mime them I sentence you to 20 years of sex. So that's uh, that's sex judge. Um, that's pretty much the only line I've got for him. Um, oh, there's one more actually, but it needs some audience participation. So if you could do this, if you could all shout out at the same time on the count of three, uh, erection, that would be very useful. Okay, one, two, three. Sustained. So that's the, I mean, I really should have more jokes for him. Um, then we've got uh, this one next. That's a priest um, who has been given a backhander by the marzipan industry. Um, a priest who's been given a backhander by the marzipan industry. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amens. So uh, that's that one. But, you know, can't, can't, can't fault it. Um, and finally, Frog with a lisp. Finally, we're going for frog with a lisp. <clears throat> Ribbit. 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 The letter S doesn't come up much for frogs, so that's um, that's 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 uh, it, it's, it's quite an easy life he has. Um, uh, one little joke. Uh, before I go, um, never buy a homing pigeon secondhand. And now, please welcome back to co-host this with me. It's Jonathan Donahoeathan. Hello, that was, was absolutely lovely. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Lots of lovely stuff. Um, lots can of I, fun. Can I share a secret with the audience? Oh yes, absolutely. The one person who we all see while we're doing this is yes, Pat always. Paddy is kept on as kind of uh, people's, uh, what's the word, uh, confidence. Yeah, yeah. And he's very good at that. He laughs at everyone. He goes, ha, 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 While I was doing that, Paddy was doing this throughout. <laughs> that's, not, that's not fair. I was texting Johnny asking, asking for the lineup, And also, also I, did I did your, your sex, sex judge bit along with you. I thought you saw me. I put glasses on and everything. I did, I did it all. Yeah, all right. he loves so basically, him. Paddy was ignoring me until he decided to plagiarise. Yes. Well, is, it plagiar ah. is it plagiarism if you go and see a band and you long. sing along? Because I think it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. uh, on the lineup next, we have Josie. Oh, Is right. The, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's prepared a little bit. Um, <coughs> are, are, you, are you ready to do a little bit? Yes. You, you look lovely. Many people watching oh, right. physically <laughs> wince. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. You look, you look happy birthday, my love. Have you taken me off screen? I just let me let me at least say my last bit. Okay. I love you. I want uh, good luck. You can do it. <laughs> Hello. Um, so I've been thinking about what I can do, and I'm finding it quite hard to talk at the moment without coughing. So I just thought I would try and like soldier through a bit of stand up, basically, and hope for the best. So um, I thought I'd talk about the night my daughter was born because it was really, it was such a Sorry. Um, yeah, so it was a really beautiful night and genuinely a very loving night. Like, I think a lot of the time with childbirth, especially, people kind of want to talk about it as a very frightening... <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> oh, the other half. <laughs> Is it Gigi? <coughs> <coughs> Gigi? 
Um, Hello. (laughs) We were causing the cough. Yes, that's right. And we do it again. Yes, that's right. Listen, we're going to keep on coughing until you cough up a million pounds of cheese. (laughs) That's right. We're cheese judge. (laughs) And I'll tell you something else. If you don't cough it up, we haven't got a plan B. Very much like how (laughs) Josie Long plays on chess.com. If you don't let her win, she'll lose. (coughs) (coughs) This is actually genuine. (coughs) Um, That's all I've got. I'm sorry, but the coughing does help because it feels like you're going to stop it if you keep coughing. That's all I've got. I wrote a bit of a (laughs) stand-up about... um, about how it's really hard to write stand-up at the moment because I don't really want to write it about the present. Uh, if I write stuff about the past, that's not me. And, like, I literally wrote a bit recently that was, like, when I buy six new wine glasses, I line them all up and I say, I just want to say welcome to five of you. We're going to be working together for a long time. You, you might as well smash yourself now. Fuck you. <laughs> um, that's what I say. <coughs> Take the wine glasses but. Um, I wrote a bit about how I think the best way to write stand-up at the moment would be if we did know the future. Um, but I'm worried it's a bit close to Luke has been doing so many dystopias and stuff. Um, but I actually have a time machine, um, but it can only go forwards in time. Um, and it can only really go, you know, when you're speeding up a podcast and you sort of do it a bit faster and then get forwards. So I managed to get to 2022 on it, but it took me about five years. Um, don't know why it doesn't make sense. And I got there, and I've written some stand-up about it, and I was able to get back, because when I was there, I met another time traveller, and I really pissed him off, because he was trying to kill this baby, and I was like, there's no fucking way, mate, I'm a mother. And he's like, trust me. I was like, no fucking way. Um, so I saved the baby, he was furious, and he kicked me back to now. So... <clears throat> I can tell you some stand-up that I wrote when I was in 2022, um, if that's useful. Um, so you know when you get off your horse, um, everyone rides horses. Um, you know when you get off your horse, this is the only animal that's immune to coronavirus. Did you know that? No, you didn't. Uh, you know when you're riding your horse, and also you think, oh, well, people use cars or the train. No, they all got coronavirus. Um, you know when you're on your horse and you reach down, to the leather pouch where you store Huel. Um, Huel is the only food that people have in the future. <laughs> Sorry. And the only flavour is dirty mushroom. Isn't that sad? <laughs> you know when you reach down for your leather Huel pouch and you realise you lost it in the Midlands? <laughs> Typical. And um, That's funny because in 2021 there was like a big um, war over Huel in the Midlands. So people in 2022 think that's hilarious. Um, <clears throat> And you reach off your hule and you realise that you, you have to get off, off your horse. And then, of course, it's time to do the nightly clapping for the Prime Minister, Donald yeah. Trump. Shocker. So that's the stand-up I wrote in 2022. I haven't written any more yet. Um, but it really went down well, the gigs that I did do over there. Um, and I hope it's helped you guys to know what's going to happen a bit better. And um, that's all I can do. I'm sorry. I feel rough as boot lickers. <laughs> what? <laughs> boot lickers. It's what everyone in the United Kingdom is now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, ladies, la- la- ladies and gentlemen and everyone, uh, Josie Long. Oh, that was lovely. That was lovely. Nice to hear you. Nice to hear you. <laughs> Luke, did you enjoy that set? I did, yes. I love playing Craig's humour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love birthdays. And, of course, it is Josie's pointy birthday. It yeah. is. Happy it birthday, is. my darling. Well done. But how could it be my birthday when it's Christmas? Christmas. <gasps> Johnny won again. Herald yeah. Angels. In a May for God. Okay. Um, I've got two... Pins, screwdrivers, screwdrivers. Um, 
<laughs> this joke is rubbish. Um, <laughs> lovely stuff. Uh, do, you, do you want to hear another? Oh, uh, <clears throat> what do snowmen? What do snowmen? Wear, what do snow people wear on their heads? Hats. Uh, uh, it's ice caps. Oh. And do you want to know what the charade is? It's wild at heart. So that would have been, I guess. Well, I don't mean to be uh, professional about this, but we do need to crack on with the show. We oh, must. A bumper episode with uh, 14 acts on. Right, sorry. Uh, well, we ought to bring Paddy back into the four. Hey. Um, I'm very excited about this next act. She is a wonderful person and incredibly talented. She, so she was booked um, nepotistically by Josie. <laughs> um, so, so she's she's uh, Josie's ne- nephew. <laughs> um, Paddy, what have you got prepared for us on the uh, what, what is, what's the instrument called? The Ottoman. The, uh, the Ottoman. Automaton. I mean, you say prepared. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much guesswork. The keyboard on this is a a strip. <laughs> so I'm learning on the job, Johnny. Okay. So what song are you going to try and perform for us this time? Um, I uh, I'm going to do okay that the the Harvey Danger one from Peep Show. <laughs> the theme, the theme, the flagpole the, sister. That's it. Yeah. Of course, uh, it, 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 he was a, a, a main character in Peep Show, and so this would be pertinent. Yeah, um, and I sort of remember this song. Great. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, right? <laughs> that was lovely. Welcome to the screen. How are you? I'm good. That was amazing. Oh, I wish it had replaced the original music. And <laughs> 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 you've been around with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> start with a song that my daughter started singing the other day she's five corona go away easter you can stay that's it she just sings it where's the lie huh where's the lie there's no lie yeah exactly exactly um also my partner ellis is welsh and he's very proudly welsh and the other day uh she said to he speaks Welsh and he's always trying to get her to learn Welsh and she doesn't really learn it um, or speak it. And then the other day she said, What's what's Welsh for slice, Daddy? Is it slice? Um, so I am gonna in a minute introduce you to a friend of mine that Luke and Josie will remember called Jill. Um, and before that, I wanted to talk about the fact that I, so my mum's birthday was just before lockdown. It's on March the 5th. And, um, I could have got out of getting her a present by saying that I I wasn't allowed to because of lockdown, but I basically said, what do you want? She's quite hard to buy for. And she was like, um, I want a book. It's doing really well. It's won a lot of awards. It's called She's All Right. And I was like, okay. So I looked at, oh, I couldn't find anywhere. I was like looking on Amazon, asking my local bookshop, she's all right. Where is it? don't know so in there I just got her a giant Toblerone sent to her and on the phone she was like what's this Toblerone and I asked for she's all right I was like there's no book called she's all right it doesn't exist she was like yes there is she got really annoyed and then it turns out she meant Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine which is so different from she's all right she's all right I'm all right so different from saying I'm completely fine and she's got a step closer to the truth now she started calling it <laughs> Eleanor Rigby is all right <laughs> um that's completely true okay uh so there's a woman who lives um who looks suspiciously like me I think she might be here actually just a minute hello my, my name is Jill Benson Hedges shout it from the rooftops Jill with a J, Jill with a J, not a G. Thank you, Inland Revenue. This has done me many favours over the years and many disadvantages as well. I haven't got long to talk to you tonight, but listen, I'm 67. I don't care who knows it. Shout it from the rooftops. I do not care. Strike me down with an eagle. Strike me down with Corona. What will be, will be, as my science teacher used to say. Not my English teacher, 
he did not like Shakespeare, or whoever said that in the first place. It doesn't matter. Just appreciate it. It doesn't matter. I'm 67, said the spider to the fly. Now, tip my tips for getting through Corona. Why listen to my tips? I don't know, because I'm on your screen. Maybe that's a good enough reason. I think it certainly is, and I would listen if I were you. Tip number one, don't complain. I, mean, I see people go, oh dear, they've run out of halloumi light. How am I going to make my special curry? Oh dear, they haven't got any beans. What will I do? Don't complain, make the use of nature. It doesn't matter where you live. If you can make a soup from nettles, you can make a pie from gravel. I did it the other day and it was very nice. If you can make a soup from oxtails, you can certainly make a soup from a fox's leg. And it might be the fox that ran away with your shoe the other day. Who was that fox? I don't know. But when I catch him, I shall slaughter him. I shall throw him from the rooftops. I shall shout, I hope you get corona. <laughs> so the next... The next tip is plan your meals. Just plan them. It's not too hard. If you're going to have 85 chocolate biscuits for your breakfast, don't have 85 chocolate biscuits for your breakfast the day before. Then you will be disappointed and you're more likely to break lockdown. Don't break lockdown. Boris will have your guts for garters. And if you know who said guts for garters, you're probably wrong because that is an old saying and nobody knows who's, who made it up. Boris Johnson is a naughty boy. He's a rascal. I'd like to ruffle his hair and put his head down the toilet, flush it, let him go all the way to wherever toilets go to and say, goodbye. I don't like any politicians. Let me be in charge, please. Thank you very much. Third tip is avoid your neighbours. They didn't want to know you before. Be realistic. Everyone's saying, oh, the community spirit, the community spirit. Be realistic. They didn't talk to you before. They're only talking to you now because they want you to get bread for them next time you're going to the shop. Now, do, do not live opposite someone called Yvonne like I do, who comes out early every, every time. Oh, it's the NHS clapping. It's the NHS. Of course we all love the NHS. I'm not denying it. I, I certainly love them. But I'm not going out there at 7.55 like Yvonne. She's out there at 7.55. Oh, why isn't everyone else out here yet? Banging a saucepan that's very expensive. Oh, look how much I love the NHS. I'm destroying my Le Creuset saucepan. Well, I'm not banging a saucepan. I'm clapping my hands. And let me tell you, if you start at 7.55, by, by, by 8.05, my hands are ready to fall off. But they haven't fallen off yet. And that's very lucky because I'm able to carry on cooking and making gravel pies. Now, I don't know how long I've done but I hope that might be enough. I think what I might finish on, um, it, I think we might hand over back to Izzy now. Goodbye, just don't say goodbye. What? It's so, it doesn't mean anything. It's like, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. No, you're not. We're all social distancing. We're all going crazy if we've got half a brain. If we're creative, we can't think of anything to do. That's part of being a creative person. I'm sorry, there are peaks and troughs. But anyway, just don't say goodbye. It's a vacuous thing to say. I shan't say it. I'm going now. Oh, she's a bit crazy, isn't she? Um, I thought I might um, mm. end with the first song that I ever wrote, um, which was called I've Had an Eventful Day. And I can only remember one, uh, one verse of it, but it was the first song I ever wrote and it seems quite fitting now. I wake up in the morning and lie in bed. I go for a little walk has to be done in a Cockney accent. With the thoughts inside my head. But still when people ask me, what have you done today? I say, oh, oh, I've had an eventful day. Oh, oh, I've had an eventful day. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I can't <laughs> believe the resurrection of Jill, my oh, all-time favourite character, the best character, the best yeah. character of all, and <laughs> she's got so much to say at the moment. It's so exciting. <laughs> Corona has dealt her a, a good hand <laughs> <laughs> in terms of what she's done. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to. 
be quite fast introduce I've come back to compo because I, I missed it <laughs> even though I feel like absolute oh you've got one too you've got one as well duet duet Well, this is quality entertainment, isn't it? <laughs> what song am I playing to bring um, our next act on? Oh, well, I think... Well, the, you the, you, Luke? Uh, Luke, if you don't mind, um, I'll take this one. I Wait. think... Uh, <laughs> I think EastEnders is probably a good um, good thing because of the Dukas. The, uh... oh, the I thought I thought the right thing to do would be the Simpsons theme tune because uh, uh, uh because of, of Duff beer. Oh, yeah, let's absolutely uh, do that. Our next act has the name Duff in her net with her name. Her name is Duff. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, ready? All right, okay. Ready? Let's hit it. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to your screens. Hey! Hello! Hey! It's me. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Do you all stop? Oh, you've all gone now. So it's just hello. We, we, we all go now. We all, we, we, we all leave house. But, yeah, I'm going to watch. <laughs> That's great. All I can see is your face, Paddy. Hello. So I'll just do it directly at you. I thought I'd be able to see myself. I'm actually very disappointed. Looking forward to checking out my lipstick. No, I've made myself. I thought, why not? There's no one else to make an effort for other than my, my life partner. So I am uh, very much in love with. Don't worry, we've not had a single wobble since opening a giant can of chickpeas and realizing we have to use them all in one day. The falafels are delicious. So I am. Um, I'm going to be doing for you uh, my first ever live loop pedal um performance don't panic we've we've got enough red on for it to be fine whatever happens just close your ears and and dream of a sunset so i am um, i'm just going to go for it it's premised on the idea the song that uh funny funny joke funny funny been used a lot already i think in several adverts for um uh, whatever product you want, the idea that people don't wear trousers during a Zoom call. A funny, funny joke. I've seen it on several Instagram influences, uh, stories, funny, funny joke. So that's what the song is based on. Um, I guess I'm sort of reversing it. Maybe don't give that away yet. Just do it. Okay. All right. Let's have a go. Ready? Let's have a go. So, dum 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 Volumes off. Good. <laughs> That'll be what it is. <laughs> Great. Now we'll add the next layer. So what I'll do is I'll do a sort of wave motion at my body and you can shout for when you think I've reached the level of the trousers. Yes, it's interactive. Very good, but I can't see any of the audience. I'll just guess, I'll just guess. No, no. I'll tune in to my connection through the internet and I'll mentally understand where you think they go to. I don't know. 
your trousers go. I don't know. How many your trousers go? 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 I don't just in case you think, what, this is bloody jolly. Well, I, I wish you'd fuck off because actually I'm having quite a hard time. <laughs> I've got another little track to record on top. Ready? We'll put the bees in. I've not been feeling quite myself. I've not been feeling quite myself. I've not been feeling quite Myself. So we do what we can for our five minutes, eh? Yeah. I hope you're singing along at home. Your trousers go, how high your trousers go, I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so, <laughs> this video is also interactive. So what we'll do is, we'll do a quick unveiling. I realise now I'm so red, it's actually quite hard to see what's happening <laughs> with my body, but we'll just reveal. We'll re how high do we think? Do we think this high, this high, this high? Well, you're all, which, how high, Pat? I can see Paddy. This one. Here, here, just under tit height, the power, the power trow, the power trow, the power trow level. Uh, well, we're all wrong because <laughs> I'm wearing my trousers around my neck. They go all the way up to my chin. <laughs> We've not practiced that. We can see a bit of bra now. Lovely stuff. Okay, great. So I think we'll finish. That's gone surprisingly lovely. I hope. I can't hear myself. Um, well, that's lovely. We'll finish on, oh, a fun, a fun new one, a fun new one. And, uh, I hope you don't well, think of me as somebody who, um, has low, uh, is it still playing? Yes, it is. Has low body confidence. I wouldn't, I would, I would hope you don't. Who would, who would? Who would think that of me, a woman living in the 20th century? Why would I possibly have that? So I, uh, I, w I wanted to write a little song to um, assure you that that isn't the case at all, based on um, a realisation. I was looking at a gorgeous photo of myself with my niece, who I love dearly. She's so much fun. And we were mucking around and I had a little sheep mask on that she had made and I was holding it up and I, I saw in the photo, I saw the, the glee on her face and the glee on mine and the sheep around my head, which was remarkably accurate given she'd barely grown thumbs. And, uh, and, and then I thought to myself, oh, what's happening there on the side of the sheet mask that I'm holding up with what looks to be two, <laughs> and I, I am, I'm describing them completely accurately when I say this, two pork chops attached to me at the wrist. I had two pork chops for hand. They looked like they were covered in, uh, in, in pork products. So I made this song. I can't take the trousers off, even though they're no longer relevant, because I have gaffer taped them quite, quite tight <laughs> around my neck. <laughs> okay, so we'll go into the next song. Next and final song, lovely stuff. Okay, mm -mm -mm. got that ready to play. Got those down. Very nice stuff. Got that up. Let's go. It starts with oh the 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 the, the down the bass. Let's just plug in. Have a quick. A lot of chords happening here. A lot of chords. Well, I changed the chords. Let's just talk about let's talk about hummus because I made my first ever batch today. You've got to do some of those chickpeas. I haven't even got to thinking about the um, what's the water called? Aquafaba. Aquafab. Aqua. You can make meringues from it. You can make mayonnaise. You can make Sistine Jabal. <laughs> Powerful stuff. So we haven't even got onto that. We've got it in a big old jar that used to hold gherkins. It, it looks like muddy paint water. Luckily, we're not doing much painting at the moment, so we won't mistakenly use it for our watercolours. And then I don't know what we would drink. It, it's, it's the opposite way around. It's, you put the paintbrush in your 
tea and then drink. Anyway, I'll just check the rhythm of this and then we can plug the speaker back in. Okay, yeah, great. Banging. This is an absolute banger. <laughs> can I say that as a woman over 30? Yes, I can. I've said it. Great. Oh, that's going to be a lovely noise, but oh, two seconds. Done. Stop. Oh, pulled off that blaster. Great. So let's have a go. Great. Let's do it. Uh, we can see it's in the camp. Very nice. Let's have it. <laughs> Sorry, Trent, that's a bit loud. Hey, Mrs. Happy Hand, can I have a suck on your sausage fingers? Hey, Mrs. Happy Hand. Can I have a suck on your sausage fingers? Hey, Mrs. Pammy Pants, can I have a suck on your sausage fingers? Hey, Mrs. Pammy Pants, can I have a suck on your sausage fingers? Now, if you're thinking to yourself, this is a bit, I don't like where this is going. Mrs. Hammy Hat, tearing down women from every angle. Not, 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 wait, wait. We're going to flip the power dynamics and the genders in just one second. Just you wait. Walk your boy, oh boy. I'll bring in the bacon. Walk your boy, oh boy. And now I know you're thinking, what about the vegan? I've got you covered. Let's remember, I'm up. No. <laughs> I'm a plant based porky palm, wondrous wedge of gamma. I'm a plant based. I'm a plant based. Look, we had to do a pre record because otherwise there's a horrible delay. Just forget you saw that bit. <laughs> we'll go again. I'm a plant based porky palm, wondrous wedge of gamma. I'm a plant based porky palm, wondrous wedge of gamma. I'm a plant based pocket palm, wondrous wedge of gammon. I'm a plant based pocket palm, 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 I'm a Issues. Lovely stuff. Um, I hope you've had a nice time. I've had a lovely time today. Oh. It was charming and beautiful. It was really, it really filled me with delight. I feel, I feel, I feel happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sausage fingers. Oh. So we, We've got admin to do, which is that um, we do have a tip jar. If you like the shows and you don't mind, and you and you, if you're furloughed or you have somehow are making more money, if you're a hand sanitizer manufacturer and you're watching the show, um, please drop a couple of quid or a quid or something in the tip jar. It, it's very, very kind of you and very helpful. We share it out between all the performers, but also we are going to share it out to venues. There are so many venues out there that uh, were sort of clinging on before this happened and that don't get funded adequately anyway and then with this are really struggling and we want to see what we can do for our community and for each other and hopefully if you enjoy the show it'll be cheaper than going to see it live yeah cheaper than a bag of chips <laughs> <laughs> um furlough is uh, my new favorite word i didn't know uh recently like it's the new pro-rogging <laughs> Pro rogging. Is it pro rogging? Is it pro rogging? To, oh, I'm just going to. That's when you're in favour of rogging. Yeah. Pro rogging. <laughs> Who amongst us is not in favour of rogging? I, I like a bit of rog rogging, but I love a rog. Is it, is it pro rogging? Hi, rogi. So uh, pro rogging. Rogan Josh. Pro. <laughs> it's not pro uh, look, it, it, nobody cares about pro rogging anymore. That's been that's that's put in the dustbin of put in the dustbin of history. Um, yeah. Next week. The morning show uh, with Robin and Josie becomes Shambles College. 
as term starts or should start, but doesn't. Um, <laughs> And horror with Mark Davis, classics with Natalie Hines, crime with Ian Ranking, and cooking lessons with George Egg. Wow. They really do. Wow. What an exciting week. It is. That sounds busy. Can I also say, Tell Dart, a, uh, a Wednesday night show um, sure. where we uh, talk, because we, 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 uh, we realise we can't uh, play songs together uh, because of the delay and we're in different apartments. So we're going to, I'm going to try and learn some of our songs and he's going to learn, I mean, he already knows our songs. Uh, 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 we all to know, uh, and uh, this is a plug for it. I don't yet know how we're going to put it online or what or time what it's it'll called, be or what or it's called or anything. So yeah, just, you've, done the, right you've just, done the right order of things. Just yeah. good luck. Good uh, luck. The show. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, that's it. That's um, everything. Well, yeah. that's it. That's everything. We have to leave. Um, please follow all the acts you've seen on social media and give them money or and put some money in the tip jar if you can afford it and have a lovely time and don't, um, don't have a nasty week. Have a nice one.